Andy. 2018. Hey. Happy New Year. Happy Firstmas. And uh, happy Power Up. So, we've got um, pulled pork with Frank's hot sauce and some spices. I'm trying to lay off the breads, and I actually like to lose some weight. So we'll we'll see throughout the season how I do. I like to get like 20 pounds off, but. Um, I've also got some grapes, just a little bit of grapes, some peppers, and some water. I've already had my antioxidant stuff, but I'll just fill it with water. Lots going on. Obviously, the Power Up game was released on Saturday for FRC. Me and a few people from here at Andy Mark, we flew out to Manchester to see the game unveil, to go to Dean's um, founders party, and um, saw a lot of people. One of the highlights is we actually had breakfast with Woody and Margaret Flower. That was awesome. Well, I don't know if they ask you, but people always ask me, how do you like the game? And I try to reserve judgment really until I see the first week, week one um, competition. But I, I do actually like the game. I, I like how you can see who's having an advantage on the field by their, who's hanging or which side the switch or the scale is going, is balancing toward. Just as a you know public service announcement, if you have questions regarding the game, just you know, it's kind of a no-brainer, but read the rules. There's a lot going on out in the FIRST community right now. There's tons of information to, to look at. You're going to get overloaded if you just swim around in videos and blogs. There's a few that I really like looking at and I'm going to try to catch up on later. There's a whole bunch of Robot in Three Days groups. So there's one here in Indiana. There's obviously the Robot in Three Days original team down in Florida. I'm sure we'll refer to some things that they've done. They're building right now. They're going to be done on Tuesday by around noon or so and then they're going to release videos at the end of this week to show what they've learned. Also there's a couple blogs I recommend you watch. Check out Alan Gregory's blog on 3847. I think Brett can put a link somewhere here for Alan's blog and John B. Nude's blog from 148. Those two things are very valuable. Very much insight is given away on those blogs traditionally. Kudos to those two guys for blogging their way through this season. That's not easy to do. You can see some live streams, but also they, they archive these things on YouTube. But check out Robo Sports Network and First Updates Now. Both of them have really good videos that you can check out. They have scheduled shows during the week, and you're going to see those things pop up on um, social media as, as we go through this build season. Currently, um, First Updates Now is over at our other facility filming the Indiana Robot in Three Days crew, so you can check them out live right now. Game pieces. Obviously, this time of year, the game pieces are a big deal. Everybody wants game pieces, even though you can only have one per robot. This year, it's kind of new. There's three different sources for the game pieces. We sell them, and Vex sells them, and Rev sells them. Each one of the items in the game piece, they're both made here in the U.S., and they both have fairly low minimum order quantities and low lead time. So if any of us are out right now, just wait a few days. On our site, put in, email me when available. You know how to do that. And um, once they come back in stock, they'll, you'll get an email. There was a Chief Delphi thread talking about weights of crates and weights of covers, and our weight was a little bit off, 0.3 pounds off and 0.1 pounds off, depending on the cover and the crate. I'll tell you, we don't spend a lot of time evaluating, testing game pieces before kickoff. We, we bring the stuff in, we put it in the warehouse, we, we block it off, we don't mess with it. So we didn't get our weights exactly right, sorry, but we, we do have them right now. So we weighed them and we sized them and we took, we took weights from different lots between First Choice that we have in stock and also the Andy Mark stock. So we have a pretty good range of what you're going to have in your kit. And hey, it's a milk crate. Milk crates are fairly big, ubiquitous. You can go out and find a milk crate and you can practice with multiple milk crates. You might have to swap around your cover, but you can put milk crates on switches and scales that might not be the official milk crate and it might weigh just a little bit differently, but that's okay. If you see something on our website that isn't right or if there's of stuff about availability that you have questions about, you can always email us at support at anymark.com or you can call us. We, already have, we always have people that are answering the phone, but we're still updating the website. You can make sure things are right on there. So thank you for your patience. Everybody remembers the, the R and the S and the T, but a lot of folks talk about bringing in the I. So Andy Mark wants to bring in the I of first inspiration. 
we're going to have a coloring contest this year during build season. Each week we're going to have cool new coloring pages for you to color in and submit to contest at andymarket.com. So how do they get this? How do they we get are this? going to release a new coloring page each Monday on Lunch with Andy. Alright. And each Monday on Lunch with Andy we'll also announce the previous week's winner who will get a $25 credit to Andy Market. No way! Yeah! Wait, this is Lunch with Andy. That's this show. Yes, and this is the first one. When's the due date, Ruth? Due date is going to be Sunday at 11.59, 59.59 59 Eastern Time. Midnight <laughs> Sunday following the announcement so we can announce the winner the next yes. day. For you new folks out there, welcome to First. Welcome to Lunch with Andy. Um, we're going to have these shows three times a week during the FRC build season. Um, on Wednesdays we'll have pizza and on Fridays we usually go out for lunch. It, usually in my favorite place in town. We try to keep it to about five minutes or so. Hopefully we won't bore you, but um, some people, for some reason, really like this show. So thank you guys for, for watching. So we'll see you Wednesday when we have some pizza with our staff. And uh, have a good week. Well, today we're reading Green Eggs and Ham.